What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So first things first, hope all of you are having a wonderful Sunday evening. Uh, this video should be fairly chill and pretty quick because all we're going to be doing is uh, spending some of those weekend summon tickets that I honestly kind of forgot were a thing. Um, right now we have, I believe, 60... is it 63 tickets? Let me see. Uh... Where's the banner for? Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, 63 tickets in total. And even though we still have a week to go where we can get like 7 to 14 more tickets, my main concern is that if I don't do it right now, I might just completely forget about it and end up with a bunch of useless tickets on my hands. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use these 63 tickets in today's video. If you guys want to wait until the final week, that's fine. Uh, I know some people are going to tell me that there's a chance that they gave us like, or will give us like boosted rates for the last week, but that only happened one time and it hasn't happened since. So I don't think it's likely, but if you are worried about that, then of course just hold on to your tickets until the final week. And uh, yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. I'll give you guys a quick look at the scouter. Uh, the featured units are not the most exciting. To be completely honest, I'm not saying they're not good units. I mean, this guy's not really good, but you know, like there's some there's some usable units here. But of course, for me, they're you know all completely done, completely duped out. So there's not much I can use in the featured pool. But we can still use a couple of the LRs in the unfeatured pool, namely, um, LR. What do I still need, actually? I, oh, I still need one more copy. Still need one more copy of LR Goku and Frieza. So that'd be nice. And I think I still need two more dupes for LR Goku Black. The, uh, you know, Rose and Zamasu. So that would also be pretty sick. Of course, this is just wishful thinking because there's a very low chance we'll pull an unfeatured LR. But anything is possible. So uh, yeah, guys, if you're still summoning or you plan to uh, rather summon on this banner or summoning on something else, then feel free to jump in for a group summon right now. We're going to go together in three. Actually, you know what? Pause the pause the game if you have to, or pause the video rather if you have to, and go grab your games, get your summon ready. And now we're going to go together in three, two, one. Let it rip. Here we go. First multi out of eight, nine. I think it's nine. I think that's how the math works out with 63 tickets. Either way, we're going to get through these tickets. Um... While we're doing this though, one thing I do want to quickly talk about, uh, it's been a pretty hot topic over the last like, you know, 12, 24 hours. The Ben Askren and Jake Paul fight. I know a lot of you guys watched it. Okay, I know a lot of you guys watched it and uh, we all know the results at this point. Um, I can't lie, man. I can't lie. I was pretty disappointed by, by Askren's performance. Now, if you guys don't know what Askren used to do or like where he came from uh he was a former mma fighter he was in the ufc he was in other organizations before that and he was actually like a really good fighter or at least a very successful fighter he did have one really bad knockout that kind of like honestly ended his career but before that you know he was like pretty successful he wasn't known for his striking though that was like a problem but uh you know, I just thought like, yo, this guy, you know, has fighting experience. Uh, Jake Paul's, you know, knocked out two guys before, but like those guys weren't really fighters. This guy is at least a former fighter. So I thought he was going to like put up more of a fight. And it just didn't happen that way. You know, it just didn't work out the way I thought it would. Um, not to say like, you know, like I'll admit Jake Paul has fighting skills. He has boxing skills. Obviously, it's just like... I thought it would be a more contested fight, and uh, it completely did not happen that way. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Did you think it was an early stoppage? Did you think that, uh, you know, the ref should have given Ben Askren at least another chance? I mean, I did see a separate angle after the fight from, uh, like, ringside, and he was definitely stumbling, you know? Like, I understand. I understand why it was stopped. I think maybe they could have let it go for a little bit more, but if they did, like, it probably would have been just like, you know, another another Nate Robinson situation, so it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, disappointing results, 
but uh, life goes on. And at the end of the day, man, I mean, Ben Askren still got paid a ton for that appearance. I think he made over a million dollars or something like that. That's what I saw. So uh, who's the real loser, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Let me know your, uh, your opinions about that. Because I know most of you guys watched it. If you guys didn't, then my bad spoilers. Jake Paul won the fight. Jake Paul won the fight, and now he's probably gonna go on to like fight other people too. Uh, whether it be, you know, I think he wants to fight McGregor. Oh, 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 man! I thought it was gonna be a fusion for a second. It, I feel like it like had a brief pause. Okay, like there was a brief moment where he didn't shoot it, and I was like, we're gonna fuse. We're getting an LR. Have we even pulled an SSR yet? Is the question actually? <laughs> I don't even know. Like I haven't been paying too much attention, but. I don't feel like we've even pulled an LR or a SSR yet. Anyways, uh, yeah, that happened last night. It was uh, interesting, to say the least. And one other thing I wanted to quickly discuss is uh, what's coming next for Global. Because obviously, right now, you know, like we're kind of in another slightly dry period there are a few events and there's also the world tournament coming up so we have that world tournament to look forward to but in terms of like the next celebration it's uh probably going to start at the beginning of may and it's going to be for the goku gohan and go 10 day celebration or more specifically you know just goku day and uh we should i think be getting a global first unit it's not guaranteed but we did last year and I feel like this year we will also be following that trend. So a global first unit, I think, is on the way. And the question is what, right? Like, it has to be a Goku of some kind. And I don't know. Like, I feel like there's a couple of options, none of which I'm, like, super confident in. But, like, I think it's either going to be an LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, like a new one, because, uh, you know, the... the the old one is just not very good. I mean, they could give him easy A2. Maybe they won't do a new LR, but give the old LR an easy A. And then, in terms of, like, the new unit, I don't know. Like, it could be a Bye Guys Goku. A lot of us have been asking for that. We were expecting it for the download celebration a couple years ago. So, maybe now's the time to release that. Uh, I wouldn't mind... Hmm... I don't know, actually. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that, actually. Uh, I want to hear some suggestions, because, uh, yeah, we should be getting a global first. It's not guaranteed, once again. If it doesn't happen, don't hold me to it. We did get a combination, finally, so we should be getting at least a featured unit here. And, um, yeah, there's there's quite a few possibilities. Like, there's not really any precedent for these, like, global first. Like, they can just drop anything on us. Like, LRUI Goku, I feel like, came out of nowhere. Um, it was only like a couple days before he actually dropped that like we learned from I Seriously's leak that uh, oh we got a PyCon oh nice <laughs> exactly what I wanted um, it, it wasn't until like a couple days before that we got an I Seriously leak and he posted like Beerus saying um, I think no I think it was just Beerus's eye I think it was just Beerus's eye oh another combination okay is the LR coming now. I thought it was going to be a double screen crack. No, okay, either way. Another SSR. Exciting stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. I'm going to end on an SSR. That's, uh, that's something. That's something. You know, I really got two Pycon. Oh, oh, okay. Demigra. Okay. Okay. All right, that's, that's two SSRs and one multi. That's pretty hard to do, man, with seven tickets. All right. Well, uh, man, we can't end like that. We can't end the video like that. You know what? I'm going to do this for you guys. I'm going to do this for you guys. We're going to jump into the LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta banner and do a multi there because I still need dupes for him. I actually only have one copy, so, like, a dupe would be amazing. That'd be the first dupe. Um, is there any other banner to summon on right now? Not really. I'm definitely not touching the category banners. You guys know that. There's, there's no way they'll catch me summoning on a Legendary Summon banner, so... Uh, did I say Legendary Summon? I'm in Category. There's no way I'm going to be summoning on a Category banner. I will summon on this Legendary Summon banner, which is still trash. It's still awful, but... 
I mean, the tickets are just so, so garbage, man. We gotta, we gotta try for something. Ooh, okay. We just came through. Base form. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, screen crack. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not what you want. <laughs> that is... Not the most ideal animation, I would say. Um, man, this banner has not been nice to me. This banner has not been nice for. Uh, I'm mean, like, I, I wasn't really expecting to pull anything, anyways. But like the last three multi I've done on this banner have been all garbage. We've had the worst animations, and um, honestly, the only reason I'm something on this banner is because. The next one we're getting is the Rosé one, and the Rosé one's even worse, because I can't even use the Rosé. Like, my Rosé is already duped out. I got, like, two extra copies, too. So, like, at least with Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, I can use it if I pull him. So, that's why I'm still summoning this banner. So, I'm going to do one more. All right, this is going to be the last one. Let's go. Really? Going to give me Yamcha? <laughs> Yamcha and Trunks? <sighs> okay, well... I tried, guys. I, I tried to make this video at least somewhat interesting, and I just couldn't do it. Hey! <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> there is no way I could have timed that better. <laughs> I... I you can't make this stuff up, man. You can't make this stuff up. Like, this is live. Like, this is not pre-recorded. Like, this is literally... I'm, I'm summoning on this live right now, and... That just happened. Yeah, that... That just happened. Well, okay. Um... We... We made the video interesting. <laughs> we did it. Success. Okay, well, um, yo, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, we're out of here. We, we did what we came to do. We did what we wanted. I I can't believe we got Angel Vegeta off, like, just this non-animation nothing. Like, we got no combinations, no, like, so we're saying God even, or, you know, double screen crack, whatever, right? And, and there he is. There he is. Yo. That's a win. That's a win. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. I, screw the tickets, man. I don't need those stupid weekend tickets. You know, the reason why I almost forgot about them is because they're always trash, right? Like, the weekend tickets are always so bad for me that, like, at this point, I don't even care too much about using them. But I was like, you know, we got them, and, like, it's, it's kind of slow. The game's kind of slow right now, so I might as well, you know, do something <laughs> on this slow Saturday night. And, uh, yeah, I'm so glad I... I'm glad I made this video, man. I'm really glad I made this video. Okay, real quick, let me see um, how we should build this uh, Petita. Because obviously, with the uh, partner super attack, he greatly raises attack for one turn, massively lowers defense. It's nice to get additionals for. Uh, oh, actually, if we do an additional though, we are getting the 12 key super, raises defense. That's, that's nice too. You kind of want to be able to raise defense after you 18 key super with the additional super, so. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, I feel like crit is still the way to go for him, though. Yeah. I feel like crit is still the way to go. So maybe, he already has like, you know, that plus five uh, built-in additional. So I think crit would be the best move. So let's just do this. And if, if I really regret it, I'll just, uh, you know, pull some more dupes and, and change it with uh, those dupes. Because apparently it's really easy to pull dupes with this guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. But there you go, guys. There you go. 69% Angel Vegeta. And uh, that's going to that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, yo, let me, let me know your opinions about this Jake Paul... Uh, ben Askren situation. Some of you guys might think it's really dumb, and that's fine too. I think it's pretty dumb as well. 
but um, that's that's just the hot topic right now, you know? I think, man, I kind of want to give this guy level 5 attack. kind of feel like he deserves it. kind of feel like he deserves it. I'm, I'm going to sit on this for a bit. I'm going to sit on this for a bit, but I'll probably end up giving him that level 5 attack. Mainly because, you know, like, honestly, I want him to have 20,000 attack. It bothers me that he's just under 20,000. But, yeah, you know what? That's it. Thank you for watching. I'm rambling on for too long. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, uh, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.